Hello YouTube, this is Sam Gerrans from QuarterNight.com. Today is Tuesday 4th of December 2018 and today I want to look at the subject of the brevity of life. This came, this subject really arose on the basis of a, an email I was sent by somebody in the UK and um, it also happens today, it happens to be the, uh, the anniversary of the death of my grandmother who to whom I was very close. So uh, these are two reasons why I'd like to make, perhaps make this video. So. I'll just read you what he wrote. Quote, according to the UK insurance actuarial tables, the average life expectancy for a male in the UK is 76 years. But even this is a deceptive view because let's say you're 55 years old. Based on the actuari actuarial tables, actuarial tables, uh, well, it's an actuary, isn't it? Actuarial, I suppose, must be the right pronunciation. Uh, these are tables which in insurance companies use, I think. You have 21 years left to live, but the average person sleeps close to eight hours per night. So you really only have 13.8 years of quote-unquote living left. If you subtract the time you wait in traffic, doing groceries and other check standing and checkout lines, time wasted on hold, whether on the phone or in person, other people wasting your time, you wasting your own time, you lose another 17% of your life. At 55, you have just 11 years of living left in life. Uh, he continues, no exaggeration, the concept is very real. The time you have left to devote to greater mission or purpose is limited, end quote. And I shot him an email back and said, thank you very much. Uh, with your permission, I'll use this for a for a talk because it's right on point, isn't it? You know, we all assume that we have so much time. And let's say you do have your three school years and ten. Not all of us do. Um, I expect that most people listening to this channel are old enough to at least have known somebody who died, if not to have known somebody who died before their time. I'm 51 and I've known several people who were my, who we died, you know, much younger than I am now. We're not guaranteed anything. We're not guaranteed the rest of today, let alone tomorrow. <clears throat> so this is something I think that's worth thinking about, the brevity of life. I also think that it's possible that at this time we have a greater responsibility because... I, there's no other time that we know of, at least, in which people have had access to video. It's possible now to go onto YouTube and see an 18, 19 year old Elvis Presley and then click another button and to see the 43 year old degenerate just prior to his death. It's possible to see people at all stages of their life. You can, with a couple of clicks of a button, and you can see somebody who was. You know, very beautiful at you know 17 or 18 and now is 91 92 and looks like a train wreck so we have access to a cognizance of our own fragility and mortality in a much more instantaneous way i think than perhaps other generations have had that so that's that's one point i think it was the roman emperor and philosopher marcus aurelius who said that life is just an illusion, and the Quran would 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 confirm that. Um, we read, for example, every soul sh will taste death, and you will but be paid in full your rewards on the day of resurrection. And whoso is removed from the fire and made to enter the garden, he has attained. And the life of this world is only the enjoyment of deception. That's three one eight five. Again, if you've, you know, if you've lived a bit, you've had a chance to realise how quickly this life goes by, and I'm, I'm sort of hyperspacing from Marcus Aurelius to John Lennon here, which perhaps isn't a very obvious connection, but there is a John Lennon song where it says that um, life is what happens while you're making other plans, <clears throat> and that's also true. We and look what happened to John Lennon. You know, he didn't see that coming. None of us do. And uh, it's not my role or my intention to to make people you know, terrified or anything. I think a healthy fear, though, a healthy fear of the reality is, is worth keeping. So many people to die in 
idiotic circumstances, absolutely idiotic circumstances, something I've come across, I'm sure I'm not the only person online, is, you know, catalogues of people who have killed themselves risking their lives to get a photograph, a selfie. And these selfies were taken, you know, six seconds before they were run over by a steamroller or whatever it is. There is no... Control Z doesn't work. Um, and while we're on the subject, I do get quite a lot of emails asking me about reincarnation, whether I believe in it. I can just say here, no, I don't believe in it at all. I, I see no Quranic confirmation for reincarnation whatsoever. And I'll give you an example. I can't give you the chapter and verse on it right now, but it talks about the uh, the the infant girls crying out their blood crying out against people who against the people who killed them on the day of judgment. Well, if those infant girls, if reincarnation were real, then they wouldn't be able to do that. No, I absolutely don't believe in reincarnation. In, I've seen nothing in the Quran to to indicate that it's there. And I have to say, I think reincarnation is a pernicious ideology. It makes people very fatalistic and it makes them not take this life seriously. And we should take this life seriously according to the Quran. There's, we, well, to quote the Bible, for example, there's you know one life, this life, and then the judgment. And the Quran would certainly, in my understanding of it, agree with that. I'll give you another couple of verses before I wrap this up. At 10.45 we read, and the day he gathers them will be as though they had tarried only an hour of the day. They will recognize one another. Those who have will those will have lost who repudiated the meeting with God, and they were not rightly guided. So that's ten forty five. And it says, and it will be as though they tarried only an hour of the day. You know what it's like when you wake up and it feels like you've only been asleep for two minutes, but actually it's been eight hours. It, these the things the Quran is referencing are things that we have we have some experience of. Again at ninety nine through one hundred and three we read, thus do we narrate to thee some reports of what has gone before, and have given thee a remembrance from our presence. Whoso turns from it, he will bear a burden on the day of resurrection. They abiding eternally therein. And an evil load is for them on the day of resurrection, the day the trumpet is blown, and the day, and that day will we gather the evil doers, white-eyed, whispering among themselves, "You tarried only ten, i.e., ten days." That's how long this life is going to seem. Then, again, think back to when you were a child. How long does that? How long ago does that really feel? And I'll tell you something: as you get older. That sense, it, it speeds up. I'll close with the following verses. And these are at 22, 12 through 18. He will say, How long tarried you in the earth, counting by years? They will say, We tarried a day or a part of a day. Ask those who keep count. He will say, You tarried only a little. Had you but known, thought you that we but created you in vain, and that you would not be returned to us? Then exalted be God, the true King. There is no God save he, the Lord of the noble throne. And whoso calls to another God with God, he has no evidence thereof. And his reckoning is but with his Lord. And those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue are not successful. And say thou, my Lord, forgive thou, and have thou mercy, and thou art the best of those who have mercy. That's 23, 12 through 18. That's all for now. If you're listening on YouTube, you can download my full translation of the Quran free using the button in the top right hand corner, or buy the hard copy there at 10% less than on Amazon. I also encourage you to sign up for the Quranite Plus newsletter on the site to get occasional micro-updates. You can download the audio from my YouTube videos to your mobile device using the links in the drop-down below. I recommend meetquranites.com to connect with other Quran alone believers. Like if you like, comment if you have something constructive to say. 
and subscribe to get more each week. And use the link in the drop down below to donate if you would like to help me keep doing this. And remember, this life is short. Eternity is long. If you want good trees, plant good seeds. <laughs>